you are back for another installment of My Naughty Little Sister, written by Dorothy Edwards, illustrated by Shirley Hughes. And this week, I'm going to continue reading from the section in this treasury collection that's called My Naughty Little Sisters Can Be a Good Sorry, my naughty little sister can be a good girl sometimes. So this one is called My Naughty Little Sister and the Big Girl's Bed. A long time ago when my naughty little sister was a very small girl, she had a nice cot with pull-up sides so that she couldn't fall out and bump herself. My little sister's cot was a very pretty one. It was pink and had pictures of fairies and bunny rabbits painted on it. It had been my old cot when I was a small child and I had taken care of the pretty pictures. I used to kiss the fairies good night when I went to bed, but my bad little sister did not kiss them and take care of their pictures. Oh no. My naughty little sister did dreadful things to those poor fairies. She scribbled on them with pencils and scratched them with tin lids and knocked them with poor old Rosie Primrose, her doll, until there were hardly any pictures left at all. She said, nasty fairies, silly old rabbits. There, wasn't she a bad child? You wouldn't do things like that, would you? and my little sister jumped and jumped on her cot. After she had been tucked up at nighttime, she would get out from under her covers and jump and jump. And when she woke up in the morning, she jumped and jumped again until one day when she was jumping, the bottom fell right out of the cot and my naughty little sister and the mattress and the covers and poor rosy primrose all fell out onto the floor. Then our mother said, that child must have a bed. Even though our father managed to mend the cot, our mother said, she must have a bed. My naughty little sister said, a big bed for me? And our mother said, I am afraid so, you bad child. You are too rough now for your poor old cot. My little sister wasn't ashamed of being too rough for her cot. She was pleased because she was going to have a new bed, and she said, A big girl's bed for me. My little sister told everybody that she was going to have a big girl's bed. She told her kind friend, the window cleaner man, and the coal man, and the milkman. She told the dust man, too. She said, you can have my old cot soon, Dustman, because I am going to have a big girl's bed. And she was as pleased as pleased. But our mother wasn't pleased at all. She was rather worried. You see, our mother was afraid that my naughty little sister would jump and jump on her new bed and scratch it and treat it badly. My naughty little sister had done such dreadful things to her old cot that my mother was afraid she would spoil the new bed too. Well, now my little sister told the lady who lived next door all about her new bed. The lady who lived next door to us was called Mrs. Jones, but my little sister used to call her Mrs. Coco Jones because she used to go in and have a cup of cocoa with her every morning. Mrs. Coco Jones was a very kind lady, and when she heard about the new bed, she said, I have a little yellow eiderdown and a yellow counterpane upstairs, and they are too small for any of my beds, so when your new bed comes, I will give them to you. My little sister was excited, but when she told our mother what Mrs. Coco had said, our mother shook her head. Oh dear, she said, what will happen to the lovely eiderdown and counterpane when our bad little girl has them? 
Then a kind aunt who lived near us said, I have a dear little green nighty case put away in a drawer. It belonged to me when I was a little girl, and when your new bed comes, you can have it to put your nighties in like a big girl. My little sister said, Good, good, because of all the nice things she was going to have for her bed. But our mother was more worried than ever. She said, Oh dear, that pretty nighty case. You'll spoil it. I know you will. But my little sister went on being pleased as pleased about it. Then one day the new bed arrived. It was a lovely shiny brown bed, new as new, with a lovely blue stripy mattress to go on it. New as new. And there was a new stripy pillow, too, just like a real big girl would have. My little sister watched while my mother took the poor old cot to pieces and stood it up against the wall. She watched when the new bed was put up and the new mattress was laid on top of it. She watched the new pillow being put into a clean white case. And when our mother made the bed with clean new sheets and clean new blankets, she said, really big girl, a big girl's bed, all for me. Then Mrs. Coco Jones came in and she was carrying the pretty yellow eider down and the yellow counterpane. They were very shiny and satiny, like buttercup flowers. And when our mother put them on top of the new bed, they looked beautiful. Then our kind aunt came down the road and she was carrying a little parcel. And in the little parcel was the pretty green nighty case. My little sister ran down the road to meet her because she was so excited. She was more excited still when our aunt picked up her little nightdress and put it into the pretty green case and laid the green case on the yellow shiny eider down. My little sister was so pleased that she was glad when bedtime came. And what do you think? She got carefully, carefully into bed with Rosie Primrose and she laid herself down and stretched herself out carefully, carefully like a good nice girl and she didn't jump and jump, and she didn't scratch the shiny brown wood or scribble with pencils or scrape with tin lids, not ever. Not even when she had had the new bed a long, long time. My little sister took great care of her big girl's bed. She took great care of her shiny yellow eider down and counterpane and her pretty green nighty case. And whatever do you think she said to me? She said, You had the very pink cot before I did, but this is my very own big girl's bed, and I am going to take great care of my very own bed like a big girl. Wow. Hmm. I have two things to say about this story. One is I'm very glad that my naughty little sister learned to take care of things and to respect and just be appreciative of all the, of her stuff. It's important to take good care of your things and it shows that you feel grateful for all the things that you have. However, I think it is pretty naughty and it doesn't really make sense to not like something just because your older sibling had it. The brand new blanket from Mrs. Coco Jones and the nice little green nighty case, those were also hand-me-downs. And so it seems a little bit naughty of her to be so mean to that old little cute fairy cot. They said cot, but it's really a crib. Um, so anyway, I hope that you're taking care of anything, whether it's a hand-me-down or not, because it's actually 
better. It's better for the world if you take care of hand-me-downs rather than buy new stuff anyway. So I think this was still my naughty little sister being pretty naughty. I guess that's what makes it kind of an interesting story to hear other people being a little naughty. I hope you guys aren't too naughty and come back for the next installment soon.